for these three-year-old trotters parading the field to the post. You folks probably remember the great Illinois bred champion on ice. You might recall that uh, he was the horse who broke the all-time record for an Illinois bred trotter right here in 153 and 1 a few years ago. Well, he's parading the field to the post. Mr. Ron Gerfine, the trainer of this year's Hambletonian winner, Self-Possessed, is sitting in the old high-wheeled sulky. So with Champion on Ice and Ron Gerfine leading the post parade, here are the starters for the review. Number one, American Power, owned by Robert Key, trained by Gerald Slyzik with Andy Miller in the bike. 1A, Tropical Winner, is owned by Robert Key, trained by Slyzik with Tony Morgan up. Number two, Fortune 500, owned by Lindy Racing Stable, by Harvey Gold and Paul Nagito, trained by Ron Gerfine, the driver Mike Lachance. Number three is Devante, owned by Doug Ackerman Stables Incorporated of LaPorte, Indiana, trained by Doug Ackerman. D.R. Ackerman will drive. Number four, Midnight Cowboy K, owned by Glenby Farms, by Colleen and Kevin Bamford, trained by Brooke Nichols. John Campbell is up. Number five is Comet's Tail, owned by Continental Farm of New Jersey, by Ryland Incorporated, by Mott's Anderson Dreiker, trained by John Johnson with Barrett Lindstedt to drive. And number six, Buzzsaw, is owned by Robert Waxman of Ancaster, Ontario. John Johnson trains Dave McGee drives. That is the lineup for the 12th race, the Alexander Memorial. And now we focus on the Grand Circuit, specifically the Alexander Memorial. Speaking of a grand gentleman, the late George Alexander was just that. A man who always supported Illinois racing and yet also maintained a very high profile at the national level through the trotters he bred, which won so many Grand Circuit races over the years. And the Alexander Memorial, today's feature, $75,000, the richest single dash of Illinois State Fair week is at the post. The gate's rolling. Here they come. They're off and trotting. There goes Comet's Tail out for the lead on the far outside. Devante gets away trotting in second. Fortune 500 comes away racing in third. Then American Power fourth inside of Tropical Winner as Devante now trots on toward the lead. Devante takes over by a length trotting toward the quarter mile mark. Fortune 500 now picks up cover second. Comet's Tail drops over against the rail in third. American Power fourth. Tropical Winner is racing in fifth, and Midnight Cowboy K is sixth, Buzzsaw is seventh and last. They're single file, 27 and four for the first quarter, 15 lengths from front to back. Devante has the lead. Devante by two, Fortune 500 second by a length and a half. Comet's Tail is taking to the outside from third, and there goes Comet's Tail for Bernd Lindstedt in the black and white colors, moving up to challenge Devante for the lead, and they're at the half. Comet's Tail on the outside puts ahead in front, and Comet's Tail now takes over by a length. Devante second, the half, 56 and 2. They're moving on to the far turn. Fortune 500, two lengths off the lead in third. Gap of three back to American Power. Gap of five more back to Tropical Winner, followed around the far turn by Buzzsaw. And Midnight Cowboy K is last off stride. Now, here comes Fortune 500, moving up on the outside, but Comet's tail still leads it by a length and a half. 125 and four at the three quarters. Top of the stretch, Comet's tail lets it out to a two length lead now. And Fortune 500 is second ahead. Devante tries to battle back from the inside, and he regains the second spot. But they've all got Comet's tail to catch, and they're not doing it. Comet's tail has the lead by four. Devante is under a repeated drive, but not closing the gap. Comet's tail takes the Alexander Memorial, 153 and three. Devante was second, Fortune 500 was third. Here's the winner of the richest single dash of the week at the Illinois State Fair, the $75,000 Alexander Memorial to Comet's Tail with Bernd Lindstedt, the winning driver. Jean Galen and her brother George Alexander Jr. will present the trophy named in memory of their father, the late George Alexander. For the review stake, three-year-old Colt Trot. The caretaker's medallion will be presented to Anne Forsberg of Sweden, the caretaker of Comet's Tail. The winning three-year-old Colt 
is by Pine Chip from Victorious Tale by Bonefish, bred by Al Libfeld, owned by Continental Farm of New Jersey by Ryland Incorporated, and Mott's Anderson Dreiker, trained by John Johnson.